Arbitrum is a project I'm very bullish on, and I I do have a position, you know, not a big position. I have a small position, but I am going to start to add on to my position. I'm going to start to add on to my Arbitrum. So of course we don't have a lot of data because this is you know a fairly new project. So let's focus on the lower time. Uh, if you look at the four hour time frame right here, you know, I want you to look at this four hour time. You know, Arbitrum is got a lot of resistance. Uh, where we are right now, there is a lot of resistance right here. You know, there is so much to, you know, to get through if Arbitrum is going to continue this run right here. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I wasn't able to capitalize on this drop you know, all the way down to a dollar. But where we are right now, there is a lot of resistance. So there's so much to get through if Arbitrum wants to continue you know, this move right here. I mean, what I can tell you is that I think we are going to get rejected. And I think we are going to see a pullback, uh, especially if the next two quarters you know are going to be rough uh if bitcoin is going to you know have you know multiple monthly negative returns this is going to that is going to be rough for a project like arbitrum and it will absolutely not surprise me i don't want to predict you know price targets right now because i think it is early on but it won't surprise me if arbitrum is trading below a dollar so just looking at the chart right here the four hour time you know we got a lot of resistance and i think we are going to get rejected you know just like we got rejected uh the first time we attempted to break out uh not this not the first time the second time actually so we tried it a couple of times here we were not able to make it, you know, into the range. If you look at this zone right here, uh, but here we are, and I mean, you can clearly see that we are already struggling. Right? You got multiple, you know, four-hour candles. Uh, you got multiple, you know, red candles. Uh, you can see the strength is fading away. And when you look at this candle right here, I mean, this is bearish right here, guys. It doesn't get any bearish than this. So I think we are going to get rejected and we are going to, you know, pull back again. Uh, if we bring, you know, just a few, you know, moving average, uh, the 21 moving average is around, you know, a dollar 20 cents. You know, we're not far from that. Uh, this is bullish, though. I have to say this is very bullish. You know, if we get a pullback and bounce off the 21 or even the 50, then we could potentially continue this move and maybe push all the way up to, you know, $1.30. All right. So this is the reason why I have to be cautious, you know, predicting that we're going below a dollar because the four hour time frame still looks very bullish, right? You had a bullish confirmation here. When the price of Arbitrum was around you had a bullish confirmation right here when the price of Arbitrum was around you know a dollar and fifteen cents, and we had this big spike right here. Uh, this was a ten percent move, right now. Uh, right after that, we had a pullback, you know, down to retest these lows right here. And then, you know, here we are again, you know, back above moving average. So, you know, I want to be cautious, you know, being bearish in the short term because Arbitrum, you know, looks bullish based on my, my moving average, just based on my indicators. You know, Arbitrum looks very well right now. Uh, even if we use, you know, some Bollinger Bands, uh, you can clearly see that we are 
in bullish territory. Now, as long as we are trading between this orange and this upper blue line, you know, this is bullish right here, and the price is more likely to continue to go up. Now, maybe it is a complete different story if we go down to the one hour time frame. So this is the one hour right here. Arbitrum has been very flat. It's definitely a lack of you know direction, lack of volume. So you know if we break out above you know 125, and I think this move will continue. But if we drop below 120, then you know you're looking at you know this retest right here around a dollar fifteen cents. So breaking above 125 is very bullish. Breaking below 120 is very bearish. Again, you know, bringing back moving average. Arbitrum still looks very bullish. You know, 21 moving average is above the 50. Uh, the price, you know, beautifully sitting on top of uh, the 21 moving average. So, you know, if we bounce off the 21 moving average, then you are going to see a continuation of this move right here. So, you know, short term, Arbitrum looks, you know, very good. But if we lose, you know, 120, you know, that is going to be a completely different story. But I am excited about this project and I do look forward to, it, you know, picking up some Arbitrum. You know, if we come all the way back here, uh, if we can go below a dollar, I mean, that to me will be the greatest thing for, you know, long term holders. Uh, this is a $20 token. You know, I think this is a $20 token in the next bull market. So I, will, I am going to be patient. Uh, I am going to be patient and wait for this pullback right here. And if Bitcoin, again, is going to have, you know, multiple months of, you know, negative returns. Then, you know, Arbitrum trading below a dollar it is a potential price target. Uh, give me your thoughts in the comment section in regards to Arbitrum. Is this a project you're excited about? Uh, do you have a position? Did you get the airdrop? Uh, are you looking forward to the performance of Arbitrum? You know, are, are you bullish? Are you bearish on the project? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Uh, just put your thoughts in the comment section in regards to Arbitrum. And again, subscribe, uh, like the video. Uh, make sure you are liking. You know, very, very important, guys.